Okay, so somebody requested last time a scrolling backgrounds tutorial. So that's what I'm gonna do. What you're gonna wanna do is get the get like a tile or something like this I have and put it in flash. Then well, you wanna trace the bitmap. I have my hotkey, you can go to modify bitmap, trace bitmap and trace it. Leave it as a movie clip. Then align it to the side, well, select it, align it to the back and the bottom, so that it's like that. Then what you want to do is kind of just, you're going to like duplicate it across the stage. So you want it to take up the whole stage so that there's no point where you see like a blank piece so you're just gonna tile it across and line it up as you go. I think that's about right. Alright. So. Alright, now they all appear to be aligned. I have one extra over here. I'm just gonna delete it. <coughs> Alright, now you're going to want to take all of them, just click the frame one, press F8, and give it a name. Just call it all or whatever. Then just copy and paste all in place, and just put it right over here. Right next to it, you're going to line it up again. So, um, it'll be an easy, it's pretty simple. I don't know. Um. All right, now make this a movie clip so that it continually plays, and just call it uh, whatever you want, tween all whatever. All right, you can go inside of that. Right click, select the both of the movie clips, and press distribute to layers so that you have two layers and then you can just give it some frames however it depends on how fast you want the background to be moving and just create some keyframes and basically what you're going to do is this little line dividing both of the tiled bottoms you want that line to be where this one is and that'll basically tell you where the first one starts in the second movie clip and it'll appear to scroll so <coughs> let's see if we can nail this on the first shot alright this appears to be as close as it's gonna get now see this if you go like this it should look like if all you can see is this it should look exactly the same on both frames as mine does so if you create a motion tween, the background will scroll. Then what you want to do so that it keeps fluent, since these two look the same as the first frame, if you just left these two frames here, it would um, have a short pause. So just create a keyframe on the frame before the last and remove the last frames. And now, when you export it, the background will just keep scrolling along. So, that's it for this. It's a pretty simple process. Good luck with it.